Kim Kardashian has been fined by the SEC for promoting crypto without disclosing her interest in said crypto. If you've ever tried to type the words Kardashian and SEC next to one another into a search engine, it's kind of hard. But here we are, the Securities and Exchange Commission is instituting a cease and desist proceeding. This is an administrative proceeding, so it's kind of like a court, but it's done here at a lower level first. And if there can be a resolution here, following a basic Fifth Amendment due process, then it can be resolved here. And that's what's happened. The Securities and Exchange Commission brought this matter, these charges against Kim Kardashian, resolved it with her, and now have published their findings. She agrees with these findings. Respondent consents to the entry of this order, instituting cease and desist proceedings for violating the Securities Act of 1933. Here's what she did. On June 13th, 2021, Kardashian, a well-known media personality and businesswoman, touted on social media a crypto asset security that was being offered and sold. Kardashian did not disclose that she was being compensated for giving such security publicity by the entity offering and selling the security. Kardashian's failure to disclose this compensation violated Section 17B of the Securities Act, which makes it unlawful for any person to promote a security without fully disclosing the receipt and amount of such consideration from an issuer. Going into the facts, Kardashian received approximately $250,000 for promoting a crypto asset security on her Instagram account. It was Ethereum Max, and they were selling Emacs tokens. The Emacs tokens promoted by Kardashian were offered and sold as investment contracts, and therefore are securities pursuant to the Securities Act. So if you are going to promote something on social media, you shouldn't just accept and get paid. You need to know what you're promoting and a little bit about the laws surrounding promoting it. If all else fails, disclose that you are promoting it. That should help get around some of those disclosure laws. Again, not legal advice. You do want to talk to your own attorney for representation if you are going to be promoting things professionally online. Starting approximately May of 2021, Ethereum Max made Emacs tokens available. They promoted them. Here's what they are, etc. Here's what Kardashian posted. Quote, are you guys into crypto? This is not financial advice, but sharing what my friends just told me about the Ethereum Max token. A few minutes ago, Ethereum Max burned 400 trillion tokens, literally 50% of their admin wallet, giving back to the entire Emax community. Hashtag Ethereum Max. Hashtag WTF Emax. Hashtag other hashtags. Oh, hashtag ad. She did put hashtag ad in there. The post contained a link to the Ethereum Max website where instructions are provided to potential investors. Kardashian included hashtag ad at the bottom of the post. They paid her 250 grand, but she did not disclose that she had been paid or the amount that she had been paid. Kardashian's crypto asset security promotion occurred after the SEC warned in its report of investigation that digital tokens or coins offered may be securities, and those who offer and sell securities in the U.S. must comply with federal securities laws. So she was on some kind of notice because they published something saying this, you know, you've been warned, <laughs> like the uh, Novak versus Parma case. Section 17B of the Securities Act makes it unlawful for a person to publish, give publicity to, etc. without fully disclosing the receipt and consideration and the amount thereof uh, for any security for sale. Kardashian violated the Securities Act by touting the Emacs token without disclosing that she received compensation. Yeah, we got that part. The disgorgement of the profits and prejudgment interest will be considered... And Kardashian's cooperation has been considered. She cooperated with the commission. She has agreed to forego receiving or agreeing to receive any form of compensation, directly or indirectly, for publishing or otherwise touting a crypto asset security for three years. And she will continue to cooperate with the investigation. She will cease and desist from any further violations. She'll comply with the undertakings above. She'll pay 
the $250,000 plus interest of $10,400 and a civil money penalty in the amount of $1 million. $1 million. To the Securities and Exchange Commission. The commission may distribute the funds to harmed parties if feasible. She has to pay by bank transfer. I think that bank transfer would have almost already happened if it's 20 days from whatever the date is a few weeks ago. And these amounts are considered exempt from any bankruptcy filing as they are the disgorgements and penalties and such from a proceeding, not some debt incurred like on your credit card or whatever, not dischargeable in bankruptcy. How does that affect Kim Kardashian's ability to join the California bar? Remember, she is studying for the law. She is what we call reading for the law. She is having some kind of an apprenticeship under a mentor attorney in the hopes that she will later be able to take and pass the California bar. It was earlier this year reported that she passed the baby bar, the um, entry exam to qualify to take further educational steps. We don't want people to go spend thousands and thousands of dollars in time to become lawyers if they can't even pass like an entry exam. So that she passed the entry exam, the baby bar, the first year exam. Now she has, I believe, about three years of study and then she can maybe take the California bar exam. But before they let you take the bar exam, you have to pass a character and fitness examination. They will ask you a series of questions. They're just detailed questions about your life and your history, your criminal history, your civil litigation history. Have you been sued a bunch of times? Have you sued a bunch of people? Have you been divorced? And were there any protective orders there? The idea is that you disclose this honestly and address it honestly and sincerely. And if you do that, you should be fine. So should Kim Kardashian. She made a mistake. And if she addresses that and accepts it, it should not affect her character and fitness. But if, hypothetically, anyone hid anything on their character and fitness examination and they uncover that during the examination, you will be disqualified, potentially, usually, from taking the bar exam until you can address that lack of character and fitness. So I don't think it will affect her. I don't think it will disqualify her, but it will be something that she'll be required to address. So I thought that was an interesting story to see how online influencers can get rather large fines. This was by consent. Imagine if she didn't consent to this fine and lost her court case challenging the charges, the fine may have been much larger. And she certainly would have spent more money on her own attorneys trying to defend it. So this was a smart move, I think. She is a savvy businesswoman, and I do appreciate that. I just question her qualifications to be an attorney and hope that she's not using that for social media influencer purposes. It's one thing to be a lawyer first and an influencer second. It's another thing to be an influencer first and a lawyer second. That's not really allowed. Your fiduciary duties and your duty of competency come first. Your duty of loyalty to your client comes first. And your duty to not have any conflicts of interest between your clients and your hobbies as an influencer or your primary business as an influencer. Those will be competing interests that she will need to address, or else her time as a lawyer will be difficult. Anyway, let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my top supporters in October, Evie, Spirit Bear, Ugly Grill, Torpedon, Good Broge, Pure Magma, Eric Tams, Tech Tech Potato, The Blood Soaked Survivors, King Aries, and Kyle Seifring. You can support more Lawful Masses productions on patreon.com slash ljfrench, sponsus.com slash law, through YouTube memberships, and through Floatplane subscriptions. Join me for my weekly live production stream on twitch.tv slash lawfulmasses on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. I hope everyone has a great week. I love you all. Bye.
Anyway, let me know about. Let me know what you think. Anyway, let me know what you think of that. Anyway, I, I'm losing my ability to speak. This one is my is my face like. No. Okay.